people nowadays don't think before they act. People nowadays believe that they're invincible, that they can't be touched. People nowadays don't care about other people. Will Smith once said, if you're not making someone else's life better, then you're wasting your time. And how true is that? Let's quit caring so much about making ourselves look good and let's look at the dying world outside, the broken world outside, and let's make an impact on lives. We get so caught up in our struggle that we forget how amazing God is. Colossians 3, 2 says, set your mind on things above and not on earthly things. No matter what happens in our lives, no matter the struggle we go through, God is with us through every single thing that we do. We get so caught up in the things of the world, and we forget about how big God is. We forget that He came down to this earth to live with people like you and me. We forget that He fed 5,000 with five loaves of bread and two fish. We forget that He parted the Red Sea. We forget that He walked on water. God can make anything impossible possible. He can heal our family members with cancer. He can cure your problem with alcohol and drugs. He can make an ungodly nation a godly nation. He can change your life forever. Our struggle is part of our story. But we don't have to stay in our struggle. You know, you might have lost your job, or there might be a loved one that's sick, a family member. You might be going through a breakup or a divorce. But listen, guys, it's not actually cool to sleep with every girl that you know. Being a real man is how you stay loyal to one. Don't ruin a girl's self-esteem to gain your happiness. And ladies, you don't have to give up your body to gain happiness. A Christian rapper named Lecrae said this, Girls, don't advertise yourself to a man. When you see a commercial about a car, it's always about the cheap cars, not the expensive ones. The right man knows where to find his expensive cars. He knows where to find his Ferrari. Let's be a generation that looks to God for our struggle, during our struggle. Let's make our generation a generation that loves everyone. God forgives us no matter what we've done, so let's be a generation that forgives no matter what has happened to us, no matter what someone said to you. Care for everyone. Think of every person you come in contact with in your life as if they were Christ. And let's be a godly generation.